that was the best part of the NHL was that 20 minutes before a game. So in, in Dallas, we, we played, uh, we played soccer volleyball basically. So we, we'd have the gate, you know, like the security metal gate. Yeah. So we'd find them wherever they were in the rink. <laughs> and each rink had its like specific area where we set up the court. Everyone would put tape down. Like it was a production and it was. Sounds really, like it would get kind of competitive. Oh, it was so competitive. Like guys, <laughs> I like once a week we'd have a fight. Like we'd have a question. We'd have a fight. Like guys not talking to each other. <laughs> really? Oh, that yeah, bad? It was like serious. And we had, cause we had the teams like, you know, we had the same teams every time and. You know, there was always one or two guys that get under each other's skin or whatever it was. So, so yeah, we had probably over little stuff like that touched the fence. No, it didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, for sure. And it's like you know, like quit ruining the game and like yeah, whatever it was. It was just if guys were in a bad mood or losing streak, whatever. So who was on your team? That. So I always had. Uh, I was always with Mike Ribeiro, uh, Matt Niskanen, and. Um, and then we, everyone else would kind of rotate in and out. Jamie Benn would play some games. And then we were always against Mark Fistrick and Scratz. <laughs> Carlos Scratchton, which was, he was the funniest player because, you know, he was like, just like how he played, he was just all in. So yeah. Just all in all the time. He, he would be the one running through the metal gate, and it's like, guys <laughs> getting injured and the whole thing. Being the hero before the game. Oh, he was just like, yeah. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so we had an awesome. I was like, that's it's. It, they were the funniest games, and then obviously like two touch and all that is fun. But these games were like fantastic, and, and they've been playing them a lot before. And they would go over the injuries and guys had Brendan Morrill always played. He was always on my team at two. Minnie was always on my team. I'm trying to think who else was. Steve Ott was always in on it. Oh really? Yeah. Dale's Trevor Daly. So yeah, we had like you know probably. 10 or 12 of the guys would always play. So it was usually... Who was, who was usually the instigator to start those uh, those fights? Oh, no, those... it was... It could have been anybody. It really was, like, whatever mood everyone was in or how things were going. Oh, okay. Um, you know. Because I'm thinking back to, like, school and stuff and gym class. You always knew that, like, this kid's going to start something with someone, but... Yeah, <laughs> no, no. It was pretty... It, we were all the gym kids. We were yeah. all that gym kids. Oh, yeah, so that's it's true. Like, it's all the... <laughs> well, you put them all in one room. Gym kids, that's <laughs> yeah. all of us. All that's true. That's that basically is. an NHL yeah. <laughs> Those competitive gym kids. So, uh, so, yeah, it was... Uh, but, yeah, that was the best. Those were the best games. And, and like I said, it was always funny because we knew, like each rink had its specific area where yeah. like you'd go into and okay, this is a, you know, a tough court or, you know, make friends court. with the security oh, guards yeah, and yeah. everyone would watch and <laughs> the whole thing. So yeah, it was fun. And then was there ever like a, uh, like an injury playing soccer before the, cause I remember someone got injured and they were like, yeah, I got hurt playing soccer before the game. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. So just couple, juggling the ball. Good injury. <laughs> so, um, in Vancouver, Michael Grabner sprained his ankle like for like six weeks, eight weeks. Oh. He was a rookie at that point, so he was trying to make it. And it was, it was right around Christmas time, I too, I think. Yeah, and he blew his ankle out like good. Um, that was a bad one. One in Dallas that I, I just th this was a story. This didn't happen, but again, like I said, they were playing for a while. So one of the guys, I'm not going to say, <laughs> um, playoff game. He ended up jumping up and he ended up being like in a door frame and cracked his head like and like 20 an hour before going out for a playoff game and like concussed like out cold stitches in his head and ended up playing the game obviously like he had no choice but that was like and he was like a pro like a player like if he was like in he was like important player on the team oh no so everyone like top lines on that one yeah it was a big deal um so that was always a great story that I remember guys talking about. Was that about. because, like, oh, we don't want to tell the coach? Or? Yeah, that was, like, <laughs> like in, straight to the training room, like, this is undercover. No one talk about this until the game's oh, like, no. gone. So, yeah, so there was always injuries. It's certainly, you know, not normal, but it did, you know, it would happen once a year where somebody, again, too competitive, you know, <laughs> yeah. too hard. Get carried know, away, and then all of a away, sudden, like, oh, okay, we can't tell mom. I'm right? playing an NHL game tonight. So, yeah, those are those are the best parts of playing. I feel like I, 
like in varsity and stuff, they started doing that, but I never tried because I was like, there's no way I can juggle a, a soccer ball. <laughs> like for sure. I'm not going to make it far in hockey. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't do the soccer thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's important. My brain to feet don't work. There was, yeah. And I mean, you got, you got, we got so much better cause we were doing it a hundred times a year. You know? Yeah. And guys would get, guys would get good at get it. some good footwork and yeah. Probably good for sliding post to post. And yeah, something, <laughs> like something like that. But that's fun. I haven't thought about that in a while. Should get some of the uh, the guys together during the the summer. Do a reunion uh, yeah, a soccer. Reunion. Yeah, <laughs> get those yeah, metal so cages. Yeah, like that. So yeah, and then we have the, the Swedish like Louis Erickson, Nicholas Grossman, Tommy Wandel, like the whole crew, everyone. Yeah, so we had we had a big group in Dallas. Oh, I bet the I bet the Europeans were yeah they were always better first picked so yeah. the the Sedin twins are unbelievable at two touch they were great soccer players so as I think they're just great at everything I don't know how that happened but um, yeah they were very good they were tough outs they were tough. <laughs> and you also felt you know they're so nice that you just yeah could, like hammer them <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's that's weird though because it's like a whole. I never even like knew that part of pregame existed. That yeah. I feel like that would be like a cool like web series. Like it would, the- yeah. <laughs> if, if you could do a reality show, like if you could get the inside on that, and like even if you just like post it up and you know at the fleet center, they don't have a great setup at the garden. No, nah, for soccer, yeah. it's because uh, we always played right outside of the the elevators. No, yeah, no. Where the um, what's that? Where's the fancy restaurant down there? Like the, what do you call it? The Legends. Oh, Legends. Right at the Legends, right right there, where you go out of the building. So the roof was slow, and it wasn't like the best area to play. Oh, okay. But that's where we had the game. Um, Uh, I was picturing like the Zamboni area where they keep the nets. No, because it was so far away from the dressing room. You have to go all the way around the building that it takes time away from playing. So you just we just post up at Legends. Oh, okay. Um. But yeah, if you could go to like one of the good arenas that had like a great setup and just like was Dallas a good setup for it? Yeah, well, yeah, we made a good setup where where we had our volleyball game. Uh, it wasn't the best setup for two touch, but um, like Arizona had a great setup because there's like high roofs. It was all about yeah. the high roof because you could blast it up in the uh, air that's and true. Like, do funny stuff. New building, yeah. yeah. So so yeah, that would be an unbelievable YouTube channel or podcast if you could just you know, stream those games, it would be, I would rather watch that than yeah. the game. Yeah. <laughs> Although I feel like yeah. there, it would be like a lot of unusable stuff. Like this can't get. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. No, it would have to be completely on. No, you, it would not make it to the press. It would have to be yeah. like, it would be a problem. It would look like the, you, you know, like the taxi driver. Yeah. And that's what would end up happening. You yeah. Know, like, cause there's a lot going on out there yeah. and a lot of conversations <laughs> and a lot of accusations. A lot of a stuff. Lot of, a lot of jobs lost. Yes, <laughs> no question. There would be some uh, some explaining to do. But and then, cool. yeah, that would be terrible getting, like, coach doesn't know about it. And then, oh, he cracked his head on a door frame. All right. Yeah. And that, now we know why he was going high glass on every. 